Hi everybody, Josiah here, also known as Chilling Silence, and today we got some really cool stuff with the Digi stats. So this was a request from Clement, actually, in the Telegram chat. Thank you so much for the feedback, it was a great idea. He asked, is there a way for us to see the current circulating supply, how many Digibyte there are in circulation? What a fantastic idea, I've never actually stopped to think about a nice, easy place where we can see that on a regular basis. Sure, there's the likes of... Coin Market Cap, which has one, I think they update it daily maybe, but I thought why not add it to Digistats? So what we've got here at the top right hand corner is the circulating supply now shows. We also got the unspent outputs here, which also shows how many of the transaction UTXOs have an unspent output. So you'll see this going up and down. For most people, it's not really going to be anything more than a pretty little metric, but hey, it's cool. And so we've now also got our circulating supply showing here. Now you can go and check this out yourself digistats.io. One other thing, so we've been doing a bit of work on the Insight Explorer. So this is Digi Explorer. This is what it uses as a backend for the Digibyte Go wallet, for example, and a bunch of other wallets and the likes also use it. Now, if we go here, this is what it looks like now. This is our new, very pretty looking one. And so the problem has been some of the behind the scenes way that data is calculated. So for example, this is what happens if you go and view a Digibyte address. It looks cool and we've got a total sent and received here and looks fine. The problem is at the moment if you are calling the APIs, so what we see here is amount null. So basically that means it's not giving the requester, for example the Digibyte Go wallet, the details of the transactions when it asks for them. So this is where we believe some of the problems have been stemming from. We've been doing some tests on the Explorer that I run myself to try and make sure that we're all good. And so we can see here now we've got a bunch of different values and things showing up here in the amount section. So we're making progress. Still not perfect, still a work in progress though. But again, I wanna reassure people your Digibyte are safe in the Digibyte Go wallet. It is being worked on. Unfortunately, sometimes good things just take time. Anyway, so I hope you're enjoying the new look and feel of the G Explorer though. I love it myself. I think it's great to bring it in line with the other mobile wallets. So I hope you can pass this on to anybody if they do have any questions about where we are with the development and progress for getting Digimite Go fixed. It is being worked on. Feel free to hit the share button, uh, leave a like if you've found this useful at all. You can reach me in the comments section below. I try to hang out down there, answer any questions I can. You can hit me up on Twitter as well. I'm at DGB underscore chilling. Otherwise, I'll talk to you in the next video. See you tomorrow. Cheers.